explorers. It's who we are as a nation, as people. We are surrounded with oceans. We are surrounded with this incredibly harsh environment. Under extreme conditions, there is a strong push to innovate. If something can successfully operate under the weather conditions, it can operate anywhere. If you're looking at Norway, it's a unique testing ground for autonomous solutions because we have great variation in seasons. If it works up north in the cold during the winter, it works everywhere. We have people here that like to test things. We are not afraid. SAMS, the Sustainable Autonomous Mobility Cluster, is a connecting point to the Norwegian autonomous industry, facilitating matchmaking, positioning and presenting its partners as a strong team for commercial, societal and research projects globally. Society is on the verge of realizing the true potential of remote operations, autonomous vehicles, drone deliveries, IoT and sensor technology. Our advantage is that we see this as a transition towards green transportation. And it goes all the way through how we utilize the resources, how we collaborate and how we think about the end user value. I think Norway is well positioned when it comes to delivering a holistic system that can support full integration into a society. It's a very, very short distance between the public bodies and the private companies, so collaboration is really easy. Within the ecosystem of autonomous mobility in Norway and in SAMS, we gather all types of actors, from researchers to academics, universities, small, medium-sized entities, large companies, but also governmental entities. Also, we have a very trust-based society. Norwegian, flat-structured companies, they actually have the ability to change around quickly and seek opportunities when they arrive. We have the knowledge and we also have the, the ability to take some risk. The government has allowed us to test out solutions that are still not yet prepared for the market. Meaning that we can test out in real-life applications to a high technology readiness level. The autonomy is not a goal, it's a tool. And as a tool, it has to fit into a system. Maybe especially this competence of putting things into systems and make the systems work is something that we are particularly good at. The customer does not really want a product anymore. He wants a service. He wants operational efficiency. So how do you bundle that into one product? Well, you cannot. So it's all about the systems. It's about the consumer-oriented development towards something which enables a value. We do not think we should simplify it in the beginning. We think that we should be complex. We drove autonomous vehicles in the winter condition at once and we brought the vehicles even to the small bar because we want to make it challenging and difficult and not easy. The most exciting project we are a part of is now with a Norwegian grocery distributor called Asko. And they are moving goods from one side of the fjord in Oslo to the other side of the fjord with trucks. And now they want to build two smaller vessels that can carry 16 trucks each across this fjord. These vessels will be fully battery driven and they will be unmanned down the line. Autonomy is more about connecting, for example, vessels into the shore side. It's about the connected logistical system. We need to extend onto the ports because we look at autonomous ships as part of a logistical chain, an integral part of that. So one of the key components within this field is actually the integrated systems competence how to make integrated systems work. So being able to test out that in different scenarios and different test arenas is necessary to make sure that we get the systems that we want. The cluster has an important role to bring this closer to people, show the solutions, show the value it creates in people's lives, and obviously in business and for Norway as an exporting country.